Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and as we continue our series on computer security and what is what and what's happening in all of this. This video is about ransomware. What's ransomware? Ransomware is simply a type of virus that will kind of lock down and encrypt your files in such a way that your PC becomes useless unless you pay the bad guys to get a decryption key. Ransomware is the most popular type of malware that exists right now. And it's easy to understand because people and companies, enterprise that are hit with ransomware actually often don't have backups. And that means, well, you got to pay the bad guys to get your files back. So that's why it's very, very popular because they make a lot of money out of it. So, of course, you just heard me say backup, and that means that the first thing that can actually help you a lot in the possibility of getting ransomware is having a backup of all the important files on your PC. I have a video online that I talk about, uh, you know, ransomware tools that you can use to try to decrypt that are updated from time to time. And it always is the same. People pa are panicked. They lost their files. And if they had a backup, well they wouldn't panic and that is a simple rule now how do you get ransomware how does it get into your PC once again do any people think oh well you know with Windows it just happens you know, one day go on the internet and you got ransomware or viruses and no it's not like that at all this is one way of thinking that is false and people still are in 2019 thinking that you know Windows is infected just by going on the internet Nope, doesn't work like that. And a lot of the ransomware that is hitting PCs is undetected by many, many antivirus solutions. So you think you're safe with your antivirus? No, you're not. You're not because a lot and more and more viruses are actually undetected by the antivirus. Because more and more, they're so sophisticated that it's difficult to actually detect them. So how do you get ransomware? How do you get this type of virus in your PC? The number one vector, the number one way of infecting your computer for ransomware, believe it or not, is still email attachments. It is more than 90% of ransomware uh, attacks. And as a tech guy, I can confirm this because every time I've seen ransomware and um, encrypted files, almost always oh I clicked on an email attachment from somebody so you gotta be careful email attachments are dangerous and we're gonna talk about that in a separate video so email attachments from people that you don't know but even worse email attachments from people that you know so you think you're safe because oh it's my best friend he's good with computers well you know what get out of it and snap out of it all the people you think are good with computers are actually horrible with computers, horrible with security, and horrible with everything you do on it. You think they're great. They're not. And I can tell you as a tech guy, I've seen a lot of people that thought they were good with computers. They're actually really, really bad with computers. And so, of course, people have this way of thinking that, oh, my best friend, or oh, my, uh, my, my husband, my wife, my, oh, my kids, my kids are so good. Yeah. No. Best way to get actually infected is that never open you know I always uh, say that there should be a ban on email attachments for uh, obvious reason of ransomware but of course that is you know impossible a lot of files are sent through email attachments today uh, even some documents that are important are sent through email what you need to just be careful is that whatever you're gonna open is officially officially okay that it's not something that could be ransomware. And how do you know that? Well, there's a lot of hints. And I think that watching my video on email attachments will be a great, great lesson also in learning this. So often, um, you know, there's no message in the body or, or you send an email to someone and they speak French, but they always, they suddenly have an email in English or you know, they just, the, the email looks weird. 
they it, it has a weird text you know like some kind of oh well here's the uh, invoice uh, that I got for this thing and you're like what what invoice resist the temptation of clicking a email attachment e unless you're really sure that what's in the attachment is okay so what about the other 10% where does ransomware come from um, I'd say that the other 10% comes from downloads of uh, all sorts of junk from the internet people go to porn sites and then they uh, this they, they get lured into oh you want to see sec this sexy girl well download this player it's gonna bring you to all of the new world of you know sexy women and or sexy men or something but the problem is that download is actually ransomware and that is a common way of getting ransomware uh, another way they are you're going to one of those weird web websites that aren't necessarily always you know it's kind of shady kind of weird kind of you know obscure websites you don't know where what they are exactly and you get pop-ups like oh update your flash player because you need to update the flash player to that's another scam for ransomware you'll update your flash player and you'll be hit with ransomware because it's not flash player it's actually ransomware they want you to download there's never 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 uh, today browsers all have flash player uh, embedded within the browser there's no need for a flash player update and we'll have a separate video for this because just that is so important that it's uh, it's it's worth you know redoing some of these security videos um, downloading illegal software movies uh, TV shows I don't know how many times all of that brought me clients that had to pay to actually download or fix their computers you know remember if you paid the tech guy a few hundred bucks because he came home a few times to remove viruses because you tried to download the latest Game of Thrones off of a shady website well you could have paid to see Game of Thrones and um, you know what you would have been safe and you would have used the correct way there's it's interesting because a lot of people are in that you know sense of oh I'm downloading uh, Windows illegally and I've got a, a, a key generator yeah ransomware okay that's a lot of um, the problems and then they end up you know well you know I lost everything and or I had a tech guy and cost a couple of hundred bucks well it would cost less to buy Windows examples are like that so this is the ways that you get infected and one last but you know obvious way I already did a video on that update your software Windows the browsers they all protect you from shady websites that are trying to inject ransomware into your PC because they actually fix security flaws so once again you should share this video with everybody you know because honestly so many people are still thinking ransomware just magically appears on your PC because you're on Windows when in reality you gotta do something to get ransomware if you aren't doing anything bad you're not gonna get ransomware I never got ransomware and I don't even check if the antivirus works or anything you could run Windows 10 without an antivirus and you'd be okay which is a lot of people think oh well I would never do that well they're telling you man that the antivirus isn't protecting you you are protecting yourself it's this is safe you know as simple as that if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching our videos